Hey what's up everyone it's Frankie with Meekspace.com. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get files from Box.com onto your iPad. Specifically we want to focus on weekly study material and the Watchtower library files. So in the beginning the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you become a Box.com collaborator. You'll do this by visiting Meekspace.com and you'll create an account. When you create an account, you'll log in and then go to the forums button in the top left corner there. Once you go to the forums button, you'll see all of the available forums that you can go into. You'll go down to the third one that's called Box Collaborator Instructions. From there, you're going to want to go into the instructions please read and you're going to want to follow the instructions in this post uh, follow it step by step and make sure you accomplish it. If you don't, you won't be able to follow the rest of these directions. It's required in order to see the theocratic folder that you follow these instructions. So get that done and you'll be able to pick back up with this here on uh, this video. So the next thing you want to do is, if you'll notice here on the screen, I have a theocratic folder I'm going to open up. These are the main tools I recommend that you have. Uh, iSilo, JW Bible, My Time, School Time, Box, iBooks, and Goodreader. Now, the three that you have to have in order to follow these directions are iSilo, Box, and iBooks. The others are optional, and uh, but I do recommend that you get them. Okay, so let's get started. So to get those apps, you'll just go ahead and visit the App Store. You'll notice in the top right corner I've already typed in box for iPhone and iPad, but you can just type in the word box. In fact, we'll just do that so you can see how it looks. Just the word box and then search. You'll see the top left corner box for iPhone and iPad. Install that. The next thing you'll need to get is an app called iSilo. You have to have it in order to uh, use the Watch Our Library on your device. So do a search on iSilo, top left corner, it's the only one there, so you'll install that. The next app that you need to have, most Apple devices already come with this, but iBooks is the program. This lets you read ebooks and PDF files. Make sure you get iBooks installed. So those are the three main apps. Now let's move on to the instructions. Once you've become a Box.com collaborator, from your computer, then you'll want to install these apps like we just showed you, and then you'll want to open up the Box app. When you open up Box, you'll notice that you have two options. You can register or you can log in. Now if you followed my directions, you should have already created an account. So what you'll do is you'll go to the login link and you'll put in your user account and your password for the account you created. This will allow you to um, get into the theocratic files. Now I'm going to pause the video and log in and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so now we're back. You notice I went ahead and logged into my account and what it did is it took me into a theocratic 3 folder. Now yours might say theocratic, theocratic 1, theocratic 2, theocratic 3, might even say theocratic 4. It may say My Theocratic Files. It depends on where you've been added as a collaborator. But nonetheless, um, they all should be the same. So from this point, what we want to do is we want to get the Watchtower Library files. And so what we'll do is we'll notice a folder called iSilo. So we'll open up that folder. And we've got Languages. So you'll want to choose your language. I'm going to choose English. Now you have a lot of different subcategories in here. The, the main one we're interested in right now is the one called Watchtower Library. So if you choose the Watchtower Library, you're going to notice four files. You've got the NWT RBI 8 EPDB, which is the New World Translation. Uh, you know, this is the uh, Index Bible. Um, or the reference Bible and then you've got the regular Bible RBI 8 and then you have the 
full um, index, WTPub ENDX, which is the index, and then the last file is the WPPub uh, EN, which is the English language, and it's the full library. So you need all four of these files. Now what happens when you click on one of them, we'll click on the first one, you'll notice that it tries to download the file and once it downloads, now I'm not going to do this for all four files because it will extend the length of this video, but you're going to need to do this for all four files. And I'll go through the first one with you and show you what to expect. So when you download it, you'll notice here it says cannot be viewed. That's because it doesn't recognize the format uh, of this file. So what you'll want to do is you'll, you'll notice in the top right corner there's a cloud with an arrow in it. So click on that cloud with an arrow and when you do that um, you'll get a dialog box that says open in. So choose open in and if you've already installed iSilo, which you should have at this point, it should be one of the choices there. So go ahead and choose iSilo and what it's going to do is open that file that we just downloaded into iSilo. Now you'll need to do this for all four of those files. Now to get back to Box on your iPad or your iPhone you're going to double click your home button, the round button at the bottom of your device, double click it, you'll get choices at the bottom. These are, these are apps that are still open. Just choose Box again and that'll take you to that file in the top left corner you'll click on the name of that file and you'll get the dialog box again. So now you'll want to download the other three files and follow the same instruction. And that'll get all the files opened up into your iSilo. Now the other thing you're going to want to get from the iSilo folder is the weekly study material. Now I'm just going to go up here and go back and you'll notice along with the Watch Our Library folder, there's one underneath it called Weekly Study Material. So in the Weekly Study Material, uh, we have a lot of brothers and sisters that have donated their time to converting the Weekly Study Material into files. And they do this uh, voluntary. No money is paid to anybody. And, um, you know, everybody pitches in and tries to make sure that uh, the meetings, the meeting files are here for each weekly meeting. You notice we're quite a far, we're quite a ways ahead here. I can see some October files even here. So we're going to do a demonstration, maybe of one that I probably don't have. So we're just going to look at the October one file. So I'm going to click on it. Remember, it's going to try and download the file. You'll notice that it comes up and it can't view the file because it doesn't recognize that .pdb. So again, we'll go to the cloud with the arrow in it. And we'll go to open in. And we'll choose iSilo. Now this is what the weekly study material looks like. Basically, it's a file that is set up to help you study for the meeting each week. At the top, you'll notice you have the examining the scriptures daily for each day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you open up Monday, it's going to show you the daily text for that day. If you go back, you'll notice below that is the, the meeting information. You've got the song for the week of October 1st. Then you have the congregation Bible study. If you open that up, there's the information that we will be studying at the meeting for October 1st, the week of October 1st. So you can scroll down to the bottom and go back. You'll notice under that is the weekly Bible reading for Daniel's chapter 4 through 6. So if you open that up, there's the Bible reading material. You'll scroll all the way to the bottom again to go back. And then you'll notice the school, the Theocratic Ministry School, is there for you. So when you click on that, it'll just show you the material that's uh, taken for the talk number one, two, and three. And uh, they're hot linked if, they're inform if there's information available. So if you go back, you'll notice uh, the service meeting is located there for you. 
and there's the service meeting parts and if you go back below you'll notice the um, watchtower study you will have the the watchtower study uh, and then you'll have the watchtower study simplified so if we were to click on the watchtower study article there's the three questions and uh, there's the article and as you go through you'll see it's got the paragraph question and then the paragraph and the scriptures and things are linked you've got you know the pictures that uh, you can bring up and look at and so it's just uh, it's just a really awesome provision that our brothers are helping us do this is designed to help you pre-study for the me meeting and of course you can use this to follow along while you're at meeting as well so that's the weekly study material so that's the other thing that you're going to want to download on a, on a weekly basis a lot of the friends will come here and download several files ahead of time so you don't have to come back every week you can come back every couple of months and get the newest files again double click your home button to get back to box and then click in the top left corner the name of the file and that'll get you your little menu again so this is basically how you're going to interact with box and how you're going to get the files now there there is a lot of other things available if you go all the way back out you'll notice there are some other things available to you here if you go into PDF and doc and then go into your language you'll notice that there's a weekly study material here it's a little different than the iSilo um, if you open it up let's just go down here to the week of August 6th you'll notice that there's PDF files for each you know section of the meeting the congregation book study which it's actually the Bible study the highlights the simplified watchtower there's a single PDF which has all the parts in it the service meeting the theocratic ministry school the regular watchtower and then the the watchtower article so if you open up any of these because it's a PDF a box will recognize that so let's just open up the weekly study article so it's going to download it but then see it opens it up because it recognizes the file however you can still open it up in uh, iBooks so you'll go to the cloud you'll go to open in and you'll choose instead of iSilo this is a PDF file so you'll want to choose iBooks you notice iSilo is not even there because it's not designed to read PDFs so you'll choose iBooks and it should open it up in your iBooks and open up the article and then of course you can you know scroll through it according to you know how you want to do things so that's kinda how that works again double click your home button choose box to go back hit the little uh, top left corner there will bring your menu back up so in here you'll probably want to download and mess with these files too some friends like these better than the iSilo ones uh, and some like the iSilo better so you'll have to play with the ones that you like the best they're in PDF format and doc format so those are mainly the things you'll want to uh, take advantage of with the box.com I hope this tutorial has helped you uh, and helped you see how to get files on your device one thing I did want to mention with the iPhone the box app looks a little bit different um, and in the top right corner there may not be a cloud with an arrow there may just be a cloud or there may just be an arrow and you'll just have to click those icons until you find one that says open in and you'll do it the same way as you do the iPad it's just I think the icon looks a little different on the iPhone um, so anyway, that's the tutorial on how to get theocratic files from box.com onto your iPad and your iPhone. Thanks for watching.